What's good, everybody? It's me, your boy, Spider King. Welcome to episode 7 on this Pokemon journey of TNTKG. Hello, everyone. My name is Score Gamer. Welcome back to Pokemon. The Travels Through Alola Edition. Yeah! EXDX. EXDX. When we last left our triumphant hero, he was fending off a Vulpix from some douchebag lowlifes. And our other character was like super emo and. That's like. Edgemo. No, he was Edgemo. You can't forget, kids. If you're Edgemo, that's it. Edge Hog. Shadow the Hedgehog. <laughs> running around at the speed of sound. Edge. Running around the speed Mar of Edge. Mario the Sonic Hot Dog. <laughs> Anywho, this is Lana, the cute lolly that no one should ever do fan art of. Seriously, don't look that stuff up. It's really, really wrong. Fan <laughs> art? Yeah, fan art that'll just make you question everything. Who draws a, a young little kid like that? That's that's terrible. Hmm. Well, rule thirty-four. Anyways, <laughs> I'm gonna go check that out. Like, whenever I have the internet unblocked from. Me. Wow. That's that's the saddest thing I've ever heard. My internet is not blocked. It is open. To, probably too much a little bit. Yeah, you should probably put a password on that. Like, really block it. Anywho, walking through Brooklyn Hill. She's going to tell me I need to find, uh... Well, I need to do this trial and all that Ooh, junk. Ooh, that moonlight. This is... This is no any way wrong. I'm just doing a trial. This is not a date with a little girl. It's the moonlight. No. You're going on a date with a little girl. No, this is, trial. no this is not. No, no. Hey, look at the fish. It's like... Know, there's a fish. Little, there's like a puddle thing and another puddle thing right there. Moon. And you're going to do the trial. It's your eye like a big pizza. And you're going to like it. Right hey, little boy. You want to get into the goods tonight? You're gonna have to do my trial. <laughs> wow. Just wow. Just man. step to the water and the text box will come. That's perfectly normal. Oh, and now you want a Lapras. Hmm, Lapras. Why well, is it like he's humping the water? <laughs> Wait, Lapras needs some water action. Oh, look, a fight. I think I'm gonna skip most of this. I forget, really. It's been a long time since this journey actually happened. And to recall everything that exactly happened to a T. And he somehow, like, like, changes his clothes within 2.7 seconds. And I just, uh, <laughs> made a raspberry. You just raspberry? I made a raspberry. You saying I'm gonna, my character's changing his clothes is accurate because in later episodes, I will change my character's clothes. This is true. This That's is very true. Well, you defeated your uh, first Pokemon trial, and it just swims into like four different fishes, and then comes down to like a waterfall. Oh yeah, definitely. But uh, there's plenty of fishes in the sea. Or in this case, just a freaking yeah, Lapras go hump the water. That sounds like you got a fish for a Lapras humping the water. No, I just noticed it. You know, I played the game, and right. Lapras likes to hump the water, because, I mean, if you're a water Pokemon, you have, like, a, a duh. A natural you have affinity like, for water. If you have a duh, and you're a water Pokemon, and you just ride on your duh, then, obviously, then you're going to like the water, and you're going to do things to the water, and she's all like, oh, yeah, now you have to do these, bitch. There we go, keep the You have to do these before you, uh, you can get them on. Yeah, when you, try to keep it when you try to keep it PG, but sometimes words slip out. It's the truth, though. I'm only telling the truth. She wants you to do the trial so you can get into her goodies. What goodies, you might ask? I don't ask. I think we all know what goodies we're talking about. No. <laughs> no, I'm just gonna lick a sardine. That didn't. That didn't, even that euphemism doesn't seem right. Oh, lick wait, a sardine. No. no, that's foreshadowing. That is. That's some foreshadowing right there, Steven. It is foreshadowing because it's a cat licking a sardine. That sounds gross and also euphemistic. A cat like a sort aren't they like one and the same thing? <laughs> <laughs> I mean I guess one is, I mean shouldn't smell like a sardine. <laughs> I mean the sardines do smell pretty darn bad. Oh my god. <laughs> Don't laugh. You know it's true. Ugh. What? Lick that sardine. What? 
Work it. Now Sardi is using um uh, charge. This fight is taking too long. This fight is taking long enough. Waterfall action. So cinematics. Yes. It is some cinematics, it's just so suspenseful. If you're happy and you know it, clap your hands. Wait a minute, they don't have hands. Or do they? Hmm. That's some... Okay, Sherlock Score Gamer. No, I was gonna say Sherlock Gamer. Holmes. No, Sherlock Holmes. Gamer. <laughs> it's Sherlock Holmes. Hey, Sherlock Holmes. Without the L, just H O M E S. Sherlock Holmes. Shaw Holmes, if you're happy, you know, clap your hands. That's what it's doing. Paralyze the fish. Yeah, it's discharge. Lick. Discharge tuna. That sounds weird. <laughs> discharge tuna. I mean, well, it's a tuna, right? And it's discharged. So, <laughs> discharge no. tuna. No. It's like, oh, my I'm going to call for help. Pop. There goes the help. That is my brother's twin cousin. That looks the same as me. Because, well, it is what it is. We get confused with our family all the right, time. Right, right. Thanks to the, the power of editing, that fight lasted only a brief second. Now on with the trial. Yeah, I gotta get them good goods. No, that's not why I'm doing this trial. I mean, you say she's a little girl. She's more likely, like, at least 19 or something. She just looks like she's 12. Wow. She looks like she's 12, but in reality, no, she's like 19. That is the worst thing ever. It's the worst thing ever. Oh! I don't know why I just did that. Neither do I, nor do I have an actual answer for it. Whoa, water. Oh. Okay, now you gotta do this so that we can get to my goodies tonight. And why I say tonight, because you see the moon. And he still when got Pokemon. When the your eye, like a big pizza pie, that's So don't be a little bitch boy. And fight those Pokemon for me because they're kind of scaring my stuff away. Bye. Right, just gonna heal up some Pokemon off screen. You know, that old jazz. It's like, while we take this time of brief intermission, let's talk about our sponsor. We have no sponsor. <laughs> we have... No, we don't have. We have. We have. We have. Mm. We have. We have. That's our sponsor. We have. We have. <laughs> what? What is it that you have? We have. We have. What, what is it? Don't you worry about it. It's we have. Uh, you know, you'd think the totem Pokemon would be more suspenseful with it being like maybe a bigger splash than just little tiny. Little tiny giblets. Like, yeah, yeah. It's so cinematic. Oh, so cinematic. <laughs> you are one ugly motherfucker. <clears throat> That's one big behind spider. It's God dang! It's a jellyfish. Yay. <laughs> no, it's a spider. Jellyfish. That's my child. I am the Spider King. I declare this beast my child. This my child's going to freaking kill me. Yeah, no, it won't. The lady of the child that you had with the child needs her child support. What? Your old child support, Steven. Wow. I owe spider child support? Spider support? Child support. Sport? Sport. It called for help! It what called, a weakling! It called for its other babies. You said that that's your baby, but it's already an adult, so that makes you an old guy. Right, right. I guess that would make sense. What are you doing? I'm just, I'm just watching you play the game. Well, that's good. That's great. Say, while while talking on the subject of just random stuff, I went to go see the movie, uh, <laughs> Slender Man. Let's just say it sucked. Eh, felt like an LSD trip to me. <laughs> if only that was the case. That movie was just cliche Sl after cliche. Wanted, Slenderman wanted to get uh, new girls. 
That's all it was. And the dudes are like, let's call Slindy, but we're gonna pussy out because, uh, that, the movie's not really about us, it's about the girls. Uh. And it has nothing to do with the, the um, female actresses at all. It's the fact that Slendy Man was not scary at all. Yeah. It's like, to a little kid, this spider would be freaking scary. Scarier than Slender Man himself. I mean, scary movies today, like, I sound like an old fart, but like, <laughs> I can tell there's a difference within scary movies from when I was like a little boy. Oh, oh yeah. Now. And people will think, what, three years ago? No, no, no. I'm talking about like, okay, so, scary movie. What makes a movie scary? I mean... You can't really be scared if you're expecting stuff, okay? You really can't. Especially if it's really cliche and already been done. Yeah. Uh, like, for instance, uh, young teenagers having irresponsible intercourse where they shouldn't be when there's a monster or a, a person who's killing people on the loose. They, I mean, I think it should add more suspense than, like, oh my freaking gosh. You, you don't know what's going to happen. Just like you said, it's like, you kind of already know what's going to happen at this point. Yep. Like this, I already know something's gonna happen right here. Right there, boom. It's like, this is not suspenseful at all because it's obviously gonna happen when you're fighting a Pokemon such as this one. A scary movie should be able to keep you on the edge of your seat. This kept me on the edge of my seat when I was battling for the first time. This right here. And it kinda has to have a lot of plot twists and a lot of what the freak type of moments in there. Dear God. Just imagine what the Five Nights at Freddy's movie will be like. Slender Man was like, if you allow yourself to get scared, you probably would. Mm -hmm. But for the most part, it was like, it was eerie at best. Very, very eerie. I agree. Oh, it's my little, my little champion, my little Squiddles. Pony, my no. Little pony. She's my little champion, Squiddles. Who names your Pokemon that? Me. Oh, right, I forgot you would name And she died. My little Squiddles, my little Squiddles. Hey, don't make fun of Squiddles, she's a badass. Squiddles loves Skittles, and she likes you too. My little Squiddles, my little Squiddles. Subgenre of music, my little Squiddles. Subgenre. <laughs> Friendship is tentacles. <laughs> my Friendship little Squiddles. Is... I used to wonder what tentacles would be like. Take that any way you want it, folks. That's exactly how it was said. Oh, like the goodies that you're gonna get after this trial. <laughs> okay, everybody, you wanna know what the goodies is that she's trying to have for that night? This little goodie bag full of candy. Oh, good. It's just this full of candy, full of sweets. Good, that's what I was hoping it was gonna be. Yeah, what do you thought it was gonna be? I don't know. Not gonna go to. Nah, what are you looking at me for? I'm not going into detail about what it could have been. I mean. Stop looking at me. I mean, I understand it's 2018 and everyone is kind of pretty much like that in the head. I, I won. I can't go. I can't go out and say certain food items without people be like, "Oh my god, <laughs> he said it. <laughs> I can't believe he said that." <laughs> Seriously, why? Why people? No, let me say something real quick. Okay. I cannot go out and say certain food items in 2018 without people. Just flipping the freak out and making a freaking joke about it. I hate it, man. Okay. I really do. Like another thing too, off topic. What's with car headlights being on? You mean when they uh, when you're driving down the highway or the road, it's, and it's just always it's on. It's bright as day, literally. I mean, it's daytime, really. And then the freaking lights are on. Right. Why? No clue. But do you remember that, like when you were little? Car lights just being randomly on yeah. in the daytime. Yeah. I don't. Oh yeah! Trial I mean, complete! Cause it's like I have the power. Oh you get the goodies. But it's like you go outside, it's daylight, you don't have your lights on. Yeah. You wanna turn around and start getting the dark. Like that's what I remember. You're gonna go like this to get the goodies. Goodies, yeah. You're gonna get goodies. They get goods. But back when I was talking about everyone's so freaking Dirty minded these days, and it kind of gets to me, you know. It's 2018, man. It's the law of the jungle. You either roll with it or you get trampled on by creatures in the forest. What? I wonder how 
2048 would be like. Hopefully by then we have flying cars. And also graphics with VR that you can actually see characters like Lana herself and her goodies. Oh, okay. Here's something that I feel like we should do. Myself within the next 10 or maybe 15, hell, even maybe 20 years from now, I have a couple of questions for you. Because you might look back on this video sometime in the future. And I want to say this now. Are you married in the next 10, 15, 20 years? Any of, that, any of those time periods. Um, okay. Do you have kids? <laughs> oh, God. Um, imagine me watching Are there again. flying cars? And what kind of bull crap do you have to go through and before now? I get, or then? Me of, the, <laughs> me of the future. All those questions implied. And we both know right now if I had a question... To ask, it would be all that and anything else, but you know my situation, why I can't. Is my wife hot? <laughs> or, rebuttal question to me in the future, does he have a wife? I, I just asked that. Do, do, do I have a wife? <laughs> it's, it's not a wife. It's, 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 it's more like a thing where we kind of just we're a do robot things wife. Like together, oh, but we're not God. really married. Well, I guess we'll have to find that question in the future. But anyway, I'm going to wrap it up and end it right here so join us next time when we're in Am episode, I rich? episode eight so see you then guys 